Well, that didn't take long. The Democrats' newest it girl of income redistribution, Kamala Harris, is already taking big heat from liberal bigwigs. We'll play it for you in a moment. Now, why on earth would they pick on someone as brilliant and as accomplished as Senator Harris? Well, perhaps because she doesn't understand basic economics. You support uh, the Medicare for All bill. I think initially, Correct. I believe it will totally eliminate private insurance. Um, so for people out there who like their insurance, well, they don't get to keep it? Well, listen, the idea is that everyone gets access to medical care. And you don't have to go through the process of going through an insurance company, having them give you approval, going through the paperwork, all of the delay that may require. Who of us have, has not had that situation where you've got to wait for approval and the doctor says, well, I don't know if your, your insurance company is going to cover this? Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. It sounds so simple. Let's move on. Dude, wasn't that Michelle Obama? Oh, well, anyway, the coffee guy is now saying... Uh, not so fast. That's not correct. That's not American. W what's next? What, what industry are we going to abolish next? That alone would wipe out millions of jobs of Americans. And that is the kind of extreme policy that is not a policy that I agree with. Mm -hmm. And if you take immigration, you take health care, what we have is extremes on both, right, both sides not representing the large ma majority of Americans who don't have a voice. Now, Schultz is a businessman, and he's certainly no conservative. But he sees the writing on the wall here. He knows that the Democrat Party is moving so far left that it's leaving America. Democrat darlings like Kamala Harris are proposing disastrous socialist solutions to things like health inequality or wealth inequality. Those are the kind of concepts that were once left to late-night seminars in college. Forget the $32 trillion cost or the 500,000 insurance company jobs that would be lost in the Sanders-Harris-Warren plan of Medicare for All. The fastest way, by the way, to sink Medicare is to give it to all, not just to the elderly. It will go broke that much faster, maybe even in five years. So even if you tax the rich to death, you still can't pay for Medicare for All. Doctors and hospitals would face pay cuts. They're already facing them today. That means more hospitals closing, more doctors retiring or not going into the profession at all, longer waits for even serious procedures. And ultimately, this will lead, my friends, to ration care, according to age, weight, and yes, other pre-existing health problems. But don't worry, because when you wait in line for the procedure, at least you'll be comforted to know that the government is pursuing Kamala's green energy fantasy. I support a Green New Deal. And I will tell you why. Climate change is an existential threat to us, and we have got to deal with the reality of it. We have got to deal with the reality of the fact that there are people trying to peddle some idea that we should deny it, and they are peddling science fiction instead of what we should do, which is rely on science fact. So what does the Green New Deal mean for you and your family? Well, it means the government would reach in and control monitor, and tax even more aspects of your daily life than it does now. You love your car as much as I do? Mine's 19 years old. I still love it. Too bad. The Green Party's Green New Deal calls for replacing non-essential individual means of transport with high quality and modern mass transit. This is kind of a geeky way of instituting a ban on cars. But who decides whether your car is a non-essential individual means of transport? Hmm. Maybe Kamala and crew will bring back Obama's green job czars. Why not? To achieve their green transport utopia, quote, it will be necessary to electrify everything else, including transport. So if you love your SUV, your sedan, heck, your hatchback, too bad. Only electric. And if you were deemed worthy of owning a car at all. Well, remember, in Kamala's gas-free world, the government gas bags have all the power. And even big gulp manning, bike lane mandating, Mike Bloomberg, is balking at Harris's green folly. I'm a little bit tired of listening to things that are pie in the sky that we never are going to pass or never going to afford. I think it's just disingenuous to promote those things. You've got to do something that's practical. Now, that means banning all coal, banning all cars, banning all nuclear power, taxing miles driven, taxing kilowatts used, taxing water used. It would be all on the table to force Americans to bend to the faddish trends of the socialist left. Now, more power for them, less power, freedom, and prosperity for you. It's 
always how it works in a fully centralized economy. And this is what is lighting the Democrat Party on fire today, really? Instead of kibitzing with the NRDC, Kamala should have consulted first with, I don't know, Kermit. It's not that easy being green. Well, it's not, because as the Kaiser Family Foundation found recently, support for Medicare for All drops like a rock when you know how much it's going to cost you. Same deal with the green agenda when people find out how much it costs. Now, get this. 56% of survey respondents initially said they favored Medicare for All as the whole plan. But when they're faced with the prospects of paying higher taxes to fund the system and, by the way, the elimination of private health insurance companies, support falls to only 37%. And when told that the new plan could actually threaten the current Medicare program, only 32% remained in favor. My friends, this is why it's so critical for the Trump administration, the entire cabinet, and the Republican Party to have a full court press of facts out there to educate vulnerable voters on the green economy issues, on Medicare for all, all of it. History shows us that socialist ideas are always easy to sell to uninformed, indoctrinated, and sometimes desperate voters. But it's impossible to fully fund. It never works. It's a false promise of free stuff forever. But as always, you eventually run out of other people's money. Kamala Harris, I don't know, would do better pursuing maybe a career as a DJ? A song that has to be played loud because you have to hear the bass. The Sun is Shining by Bob Marley and the Wailers. Or maybe a backup singer. One nation under a groove, getting down just for the funk of it. Can I get it on the... Ah! Or, I don't know, a voiceover artist? <laughs> right? <laughs> If you buy what she's selling, she may have the last laugh, but you're going to be crying all the way to the government-owned bank. And that's the angle.